how machine learning could cost you 100 times more than your initial investment. Today, managers want their teams to deliver products quickly, which is one of the reasons Agile has become a buzzword. These managers want their teams to set up the machine learning environment, hardware, software tools, and data, among others, quickly so that they can start showing great results. Well, that's not always a good idea. Not doing the right thing because you're so busy working is not effective in the long run. Yes, it'll take time to change to round wheels now, but it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. In the same way, if you don't spend the time creating the right and scalable machine learning environment now, you'll pay for it later. This is called accumulating technical debt in software engineering. It's a price you'll continue to pay over time for poor decisions you make today. You cannot completely avoid technical debt, but you can minimize it because a small savings now can avoid larger costs in the future as technical debt compounds. In the real world of machine learning, many things change over time. New requirements, new tools, more data, and faster computers. This is a never ending story. So you can't wait forever, but you have to start at some point and keep adjusting your machine learning environment as change happens. Updating your machines and rewriting part of your machine learning software. Every time some major change happens, you won't be able to simply throw out the old and replace it with the new. That's why you find mainframe computers running decade old code still hanging around. Keeping them up to date takes a lot of resources. At what point do you switch away from mainframes to say the cloud? The cost of switching is very high and you still have to serve your customers while the switch is happening, which is why it's a difficult decision to make. We have the same problems with machine learning systems, but even to a greater degree. Let me share just one of those problems in more detail. One principle of software engineering is modularity. If you design the software as modules, then you can potentially replace a single module relatively easily. For example, if you design your payment system in a modular way, and tomorrow a new form of payment comes along, you can simply replace your payment module with a new one, and this becomes available to your customers without changing much else in other parts of the software. But machine learning models are difficult to modularize. Today, your model might accept n-dimensional data, but later you might add more dimensions. For example, for computing the insurance risk of a customer, today you might use their age, car model, and driving violations. Later, you might want to add the crime rate, road conditions, and the customer's income. Now the machine learning model changes completely because you have to retrain a new model and deploy it. Also, you have to change the other parts of the system to provide for these three more data sources that you'll have to get from somewhere. You see how different it is from simply replacing the module? It's not too bad if you use a single model used in isolation, but think of the cases where you combine many models together to form a network. For example, insurance rules are different for different states. So you don't want to design a single system for all variations. Instead, you can design smaller models and combine them in many ways to form a network when computing the risk. In this case, a change in a single node will mess up many other nodes, which means that the cost of maintenance and replacement goes up much more than the modular software that we are used to. That's why it's better to take the time to design a more robust machine learning ecosystem than to come up with a hodgepodge of models integrated together. If you design it well, over time, you'll be spending a lot less time on integration and maintenance. Other situations that can cause technical debt include too much of model generalization, where we build models that do more than they should. Unknown consumers because providing backward compatibility is going to be costly. 
data dependencies where slight changes in the data can cause huge variations, self-improving models where the machine uses its own result to train itself, and small deviations can cause a lot of instability, and changes to the machine learning ecosystem like the configuration, data, feature extraction, management tools, analysis tools, deployment environment, monitoring, etc., which is often over 90% of the whole solution compared to the less than the 10% of actual machine learning code. Many organizations are not aware of these problems as they start building their machine learning environments and they'll begin to pay for it dearly as time rolls by. Before you seek to digitally transform your organization with artificial intelligence or machine learning, consider an agile architecture and remarkable design. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching.